minutes about meeting and making objections. Before we get started though, something I want to do is I want to have you tell me 10 things we have learned so far in our last day and a half here at NIDA. Uh, rule number one, or one thing, these can be very simple things. Lead on cross. What's something else we've learned? Just spit it out. One pet per question. Pardon? One pet. What about headers? Head notes. Head notes. Use them. Okay. Use them. Why do we use head notes? Jury knows where we're going. Excellent. What's another thing that we've learned? One fact per question. One fact per question when? Leading across. Cross. One fact per question on cross, but really any time. Okay? All right. What's something else? Declaratory statements. We're going to say that's the same as leading on cross. Use declaratory statements on cross. I'm sort of cheating, but that could be two separate ones. Something else? Who, what, when, where, why? Who, what, when, where, why? We're going to ask open-ended questions on direct. I use a lot of abbreviations, you can tell. What's number five? Tell a story. Tell, excellent, thank you. Tell a story. Thank you. Wow. We could have saved that one for the end. That's so great. Listen, number seven. Be prepared. Be prepared. You like it. <laughs> Be prepared. Number eight. Torture the key facts. All right. Torture. <laughs> Did I miss a seminar? <laughs> I haven't been paying attention, I swear. Torture the key facts. All right. Number nine. Make objections. Pardon? Make objections. Okay, nice, thank you. That's a perfect segue. Thank you. <laughs> All right, make objections. And what's number 10? Body language. Body language, yes. Remember to use your body. That is an effective tool. What do you notice about what I wrote on the board? Alternating between black and blue. Yes, alternating between black and blue. Stanford University Department of Communication has shown us that a few things that allow juries to help receive information more effectively is to alternate your writing, write substantive things in blue and black, do not write substantive things in red and green, use those for decoration, highlighting, yes.